Hello everybody, this is Rob Swatsky from the York campus of Harrisburg Area Community College in York, Pennsylvania. Welcome to my Biology 121 Anatomy and Physiology 1 course on iTunes U. This is podcast 1.1, What is Anatomy and Physiology? Anatomy and physiology are two separate branches of biology that we combine together in this course in order to understand how the human body is organized and how it works. Anatomy is the study of body structures, such as tissues and organs, and the relationships between them. Historically, it was first studied through dissection, which is the cutting apart of body structures in order to better understand their relationships. Physiology is the study of body functions and how the structures work together. There is a strong relationship between structure and function in the life sciences. One can often look at a body structure and begin to understand how it works. Take, for example, the walls of the blood capillaries. They are very thin to allow efficient exchange of gases, wastes, and nutrients between the blood and body tissues. Anatomy is an extremely diverse field of study and is composed of many subspecialties. Here are a few examples. Cell biology, also called cytology, is the study of the structure and function of cells, the basic building blocks of life. Histology is the study of the microscopic structure of tissues, such as muscle and the various connective tissues. Gross anatomy is the study of structures that can be examined without the use of a microscope, such as the heart or brain. The word gross refers to their larger size. Systemic anatomy is the study of the structures of specific body systems, such as the skeletal or cardiovascular systems. Regional anatomy is the study of specific areas of the body, such as the head or chest. Surface anatomy is the study of the body's surface markings in order to understand internal anatomy. It is assessed through visualization and palpation, or touch. Radiographic anatomy is the study of body structures that can be visualized using x-rays. Pathological anatomy is the study of the body's structural changes that are associated with disease. There are also many subspecialties of physiology. Some examples include cardiovascular physiology, which is the study of the functions of the heart and blood vessels. Respiratory physiology is the study of the functions of the lungs and air passageways, including the trachea and bronchioles. Neurophysiology is the study of the functions of neurons, which are the nerve cells. Renal physiology is the study of the functions of the kidneys. Endocrinology is the study of hormones, one of the body's chemical messengers, and how they help control body functions. Immunology is the study of the body's defenses against disease-causing agents, such as bacteria, viruses, and cancer cells. 
Pathophysiology is the study of the functional changes associated with aging and disease.